Hello, my name is Michael Summers, and I'm a planetary scientist. Um, my research concerns planets, how they form, how they evolve over time, and how sometimes planets will die, perhaps catastrophically. The focus of my research is on planetary atmospheres, that is the gaseous envelope around a planet, and that's held in place by, by, by gravity. Um, and and the, one of the areas that I focus on now is called planetary habitability. What makes a planet habitable? Astronomers have discovered over 5,000 planets around other stars. We call these exoplanets. And we're discovering new planets at the rate of two to three per day, whole new worlds, two to three of them per day. And our extrapolation suggests that um, every star in the sky, every star in the galaxy has somewhere between five and ten of, of these planets in, in orbit about it, some of them are Earth-like. <clears throat> so this course is going to focus on three questions related to this, this big idea of exoplanets. First, what are the possibilities of life originated on these um, uh, different unique planets? Second, how would life evolve there given their uniquenesses? say from a simple bacterium all the way up to an intelligence or a civilization or perhaps a super civilization. And then third, uh, and perhaps most importantly, what is the best way to go about searching for life on other planets, distant worlds? How do you detect life elsewhere? It's not as easy as you, as you might think. So in this course, I'm going to give you an introduction to this new science of astrobiology. I'm going to give you a few of the tools and, and the background that you need to follow along as astronomers are deciphering this story of life in the universe. Thank you.